the Interacting with Neural Circuits Summer Course. Um, that is um, a course focused on the different ways in which you can record and manipulate activity um, in the brain of the different model systems used for systems neuroscience. So when I finished my PhD, I moved to the, uh, to the foundation and I was tasked with uh, organizing the experimental curriculum for the PhD program. And the summer courses was, were already ongoing, so there had been one edition of the course uh, before I moved here. And one of my responsibilities is to manage the teaching lab, which is uh, the space where the, the course takes place. Um, so, well, because I'm the manager of the space, ultimately uh, I also became the coordinator for the course. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, in, in, to be honest. Um, it's a great opportunity to be exposed to um, new technology, right? I mean, the technology that you guys provided and others. Um, and it's also the, the um, I would like to say the intensity of it all, right? Because we have about three weeks to go through a very ambitious curriculum with, you know, excellent speakers. Um, so it's a, an opportunity to test out new ideas. So the kind of crazy experiments that you've always wanted to do but never had the opportunity to, the summer course is a really good opportunity to, to give them a go. The course is attended by 20 students and 20 different faculty also. They're mainly PhD students, postdocs, and it's a mixed bag of um, nationalities. So we have people coming from as far as Australia, um, some representation in Europe, US. It essentially covers the whole world. So Scientifica this year provided us uh, with the hyperscope um, that was converted to a three photon system. Um, in the past course, you provided us with a slice scope with a patch rig. Um, and beyond the, the, um, the system, you also provided us with a person. So Christian was here for some time. And um, in some sense, it's, it's the full package because not only do we have the equipment that we need to perform the experiments, but we also had a very knowledgeable person that um, actually took part in the demonstrations and actually really explained to the students, you know, um, pretty much everything that there is to know at a first glance about the technology. The teaching assistants uh, do demos, so each assi teaching assistant is assigned to a rig and they make the students uh, a bit more familiar with uh, the fundamentals of the technique, be it an imaging technique or a recording technique. And this happens during the first week of the course. Uh, this year, um, which is unlike most other courses, on the second week of the course, the students started working on their own mini projects. So always under the supervision of a teaching assistant, they are allowed to carry out, uh, let's say, a small research program. Um, this year we've had um, two and three photon technologies. Um, so uh, the, the three photon system provided by, by Scientifica, but also a two photon with pattern photostimulation. Um, we do electrophysiology recordings with these uh, high density the, uh, silicon probes, the neuropixels probes. And um, then just more conventional, say, two photon um, that is being assigned to fish. And we also do patch clamp with um, photostimulation. So we went a little bit more ambitious with the three photon imaging, right? It's kind of uncharted territory for us too. Um, and the main difference from the previous edition of the course is what I mentioned before that uh, the students have more hands-on time at the RIC. We condense the demonstrations and the more like um, technical background on the technology that they're using into the first week. And then starting on the second week, they, uh, they go straight into the projects. Now, that's also resulted in um, the students becoming a bit more ambitious with the projects that they're undergoing because essentially they have more time. Um, but, you know, ultimately it was up to us also to tell them that um, they should dedicate time to the analysis, right? They we're generating data at a pace that makes analyzing it more and more cumbersome. So we also had uh, people that are well-versed in these um, 
creation of pipelines and massive data analysis if you want to essentially teach the students not only um, the fundamentals on how to acquire quality data but also how to go about analyzing it.